Hello, welcome to Weekly Recipes. Every Tuesday I'd like to release a video of a recipe that falls in the keto eating plan. Uh, tonight I was going to cook uh, the chicken livers because um, I'm, I'm wanting to do more uh, carnivore recipes um, to prove that carnivore isn't just a steak with a steak and a steak with some steak. Um, kind of ironic to a choice what I'm actually going to cook tonight with that thought. But uh, yeah, I was going to make uh, chicken livers, but unfortunately those chicken livers are... Uh, sitting in the fridge for too long. So, uh, yeah, sorry, Mom. Uh, I'm, I'm sure you were so excited to see in that, that chicken liver recipe. But anyway, I decided to uh, have, uh, instead of going out to buy more food, because that's what I keep doing. I keep buying more food when I have a freezer full of food. I thought I'd try uh, cooking a steak from uh, Frozen. Again, that's just ironic. I just let, literally just said I was going to make uh, more, more food than just just steak and now hey I, I think I know I get an idea I'm gonna make some steak but you know beef butter bacon and eggs I, I was looking up recipes for uh, a cooking steak from frozen and it looks like if you're cooking steak from frozen it's uh, kind of expected to uh, bake for several hours but I did come across the instant pot recipe that only takes 20 30 minutes so I'll uh, go ahead and try that I'm gonna have to modify it a little bit because um, I had carrots in the original recipe and um, Someone's going to be pedantic and, oh, those carrots aren't good for keto. Probably better than the other standard American diet stuff. But um, but I'm, I switched out the carrots for garlic because I love garlic. And so let's roll with it. Um, it's like the 80th time I've started this video. I don't know if I made any mistakes. But anyway, I'm, I'm done making the intro. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Okay, and here's all what's in it. Starting off with, um, we have uh, one steak here. Uh, the original recipe called for two steaks, but I'm only one guy, so two steaks would be kind of a waste. And um, also something interesting is the packaging said it was a strip steak, but it doesn't look like other strip steaks. So, meat experts, does that look like a strip to you? Anyway, um, it'll be one half onion of an onion, uh, two cloves of garlic that I switched out. The original recipe said uh, four uh, carrots. Um, one and a half cups of water. A tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, a tablespoon of steak seasoning, salt and pepper to taste. Wonder if I should put some oil in there. And a tablespoon of uh, avocado oil because eh, why not? I'll better it up. It's said to make it into uh, the onion into thick slices, but I'm just used to <laughs> chopping, I guess. Put those into the bottom of the pan. Garlic, then the Worcestershire sauce, a tablespoon of avocado oil, one and a half cups of water. I'll put the uh, cage on top of there. Then I put the steak on top and then season with pepper and salt. The seasoning. Try to get on both sides here. So I'll flip it over. Just, just season the other side. A bit more barber like on this side than it was on the other side. Whoa. Good thing salt's good for you. And pepper. Then the rest of the seasoning. I wonder if I should have put the oil on top. Let me do that. I should put a bit. Just a splash of oil. I shouldn't do that because that's ex that stuff's expensive. Anyway, <laughs> now I'll put the lid on. Pressure cook that for 15 minutes. Um, yeah, it's. Oh, make sure it's, yeah, it's sealed. And it's a, it's a pretty bold claim that it's going to go from frozen to medium uh, doneness in uh, 15 minutes with a four minute wait time. But uh, that's that's what it's going to say. That That's actually 90% uh, of the reason I'm making this video because I'm kind of curious if that works because it uh, <laughs> it's a pretty impressive for the Instant Pot to go from frozen to uh, medium well on uh, in 15 minutes. I don't know, maybe is that, is that how res, is that how restaurants do it? But oh, um, I'll let that come up to pressure. Well, I guess not technically 15 minutes because you have to wait for it to get to pressure, but 15 minutes after it gets to pressure and then once it gets to fresh, after that 15 minutes you have to wait for four minutes, but uh, still a hell of a lot faster than letting it thaw out all day. Okay, it did take a, a while for it to get up to pressure, but now it says to uh, let it uh, depressurize naturally uh, for four minutes before uh, uh, hitting the, the depressure um, switch. So I'll let that go out for a what? Okay, that's the four minute rest period, and now I'll let the. Uh... Okay. 
That's what it looks like after uh, 20 something minutes. Probably a little bit longer on uh, to get it up to pressure. But uh, get it out to a plate. I gotta say, that is fascinating. It looks like bits of garlic. I don't know if that's garlic from the garlic I, I uh, minced up or uh, garlic or bits of the uh, um, steak seasoning. But it looks done on the outside. Uh, it actually seems like well done by the push test, but uh, you get a knife. Yeah. What do you think? Well done, uh, overdone, uh, but um, but it is fascinating um, that it's going from straight frozen to <laughs> overdone, and and maybe half an hour as opposed to eight hours uh, thawing out in the fridge. So definitely, um, well, I'll see how it tastes and and see it after that. Make final judgment after that. Yeah, that was definitely overcooked, but I'm willing to bet if I didn't let it cook for as long, it would be quite a bit better. But still, fascinating that you can have go f straight from the frozen to a uh, uh, plate in maybe half an hour, as opposed to having it freeze, uh, thaw all day. We'll be trying that again, maybe uh, not, not quite as long under pressure. This Instapot's kind of a miraculous, uh, not sponsored, but yeah, uh, <laughs> chili in 30 minutes and a uh, steak in 10 but uh, yeah, that, yeah, it, it's uh, quite. A, it, it'll be quicker to uh, cook a thawed out steak. Um, so if so, if you're have, if you're planning to have steak, it'll be in my opinion better on a grill or cooking it up on the cast iron skillet. For the oh no, I need a recipe and all my meat is frozen up. Um, that didn't turn out bad. Yeah, and if you're not doing the the keto diet. Uh, go ahead and throw in some carrots and some uh, potatoes in there. That would be that was pretty good. I think the uh, uh, add an addition of some garlic in there is, is a good good addition. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and call that uh, good on the recipe. Um, <laughs> most recipes are uh, that I make are bigger recipes to uh, have portioned out and to put up into the freezer. But my freezer is full. Um, Kind of a little disappointed I didn't get to the, the uh, chicken livers, but uh, there's always future. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe, and all that good stuff, and uh, have a nice day.